Have you ever heard of the SPCA? The Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. Many people, especially animal lovers, know it as an animal welfare charity organisation in Hong Kong. The SPCA was first formed by a group of volunteers in 1903, but it was not active until 1921. Its aims are to promote kindness and to prevent cruelty to animals. The SPCA offers a wide range of services, such as a 24-hour animal rescue team, veterinarian services, grooming services, boarding services, behaviour and training classes. Besides, it provides a temporary home for the animals and helps to find homes for these animals. There are different types of animals that need homes, such as dogs, cats, rabbits, hamsters, guinea pigs, chinchillas and terrapins. People who are interested in adopting a pet can visit the SPCA. Before signing an agreement for adoption, people need to think carefully whether they can really take care of a pet and make a lifelong commitment. An SPCA staff member, Ms Vivian Chu, will now teach us how to take good care of cats and dogs and some important considerations before getting a pet. Students need to think about several factors. First of all, they need to think whether they can be a responsible pet owner. That means whether they can take care of the pets for lifelong commitment because uh, every pet do have a lifespan. They need to consider if they want to have a cat, whether they can take care of it for 12 to 60 years. For dogs, average of 12 years, at least for big dogs and small dogs, 15 to 16 years. Secondly, they need to think about whether they have enough money to take care of them. By you know, having pets do cost money, uh, like you need to take them to see vets, or pet food, or fascinations. As well as you need to buy them toys to play with, and also whether you have enough uh, space for them. For basic cares for dogs, you need to think about is grooming is a very important thing to do for dogs. According to our groomers, dogs need to take care of by having uh, comb their hair daily to prevent that they tangles the hair. And also you need to think about the basic cares as the worm, the flea. For dogs, you don't need to wash them every day, but probably two weeks. Uh, once or per two weeks. And for cats, for basic care is that uh, they can take care of themselves by grooming themselves, but then you can uh, take care of them by giving them toys to play with, and also scratch poles for them to scratch their claws, as well as deworm, the fleas, vaccinations, all these things are very important. Of course, for dogs or cats, uh, desexing is also very important things for us as responsible pet owners that they should be aware of. By having the sexing operations, they can prevent unwanted litters and also the health conditions will be better for them. And also as well, fresh water, fresh food every day is very important for a responsible pet owners to do for their pets. And of course, you need to spend time to play with them and talk with them. Finally, if you want to know more about how to take care of pets or be a responsible pet owners or even how to adopt a pet, you can click onto our website at www spca.org.hk. Thank you.